What's going on, Ride Tech Nation? Today, we're checking out our latest product release, this Ride Tech subframe and suspension system designed for the first gen GM F body platform. If you're in the market for a new subframe for your upcoming or current build, in this overview, we'll be discussing some of the reasons that this subframe system is ideal for your ride. Right off the bat, you should know that this subframe is also compatible with some of GM's X-Body platform. This includes popular 1968-74 Novas, along with some other popular Pontiac, Buick, and Olds applications. Now let's get into it. So first off, the age of the vehicle. Depending on where you got your car, whether it's part of the rust belt or just the overall age of the vehicle, these vehicles are pushing 55 plus years old now. And you may be able to find a few cherry ones out there like if you find a California car or something like that. But uh, having a nice new subframe is a great starting foundation for you to, to kick off with. If you're gonna do an LS swap, put a new transmission in or anything like that, it just makes the vehicle that much more structurally sound. And it's not something you're gonna have to worry about tearing into later on in your build. Tire and wheel fitment. On a factory subframe, you can look at some of the old ones that we have laying around here in RideTech R&D, but they're much thicker than our subframe. Our subframe saves about two inches on either side of the vehicle uh, so that you can fit a much wider wheel and tire combination under the front of your vehicle. A lot of times you can run maybe a 235, 245 tire max before you're rubbing the inside of the factory subframe and that creates issues when it comes to trying to fit the largest wheel and tire that you can in the front if you're gonna be autocrossing or putting the vehicle through its paces on a road course. We had great success during development of this subframe with an 18 by 10 inch wheel with a six and a half inch back spacing. Now we understand that results may vary. If you have a different set of wheels that you're invested in, just know that you may have to modify the vehicle a little bit to make that work. It may not be conducive to spend a lot of money on brand new forged line wheels, uh, but that's what we've had the most success with. And you may, if you're in the zone, be able to play with uh, wheel spacers a little bit to knock that tire and wheel combination out a little bit more to get in the sweet spot. Steering feel is huge when it comes to driver feedback, whether you're on the street or the track and the old recirculating ball mechanism steering technology can be improved on on these older F bodies, but we thought when we were starting fresh that it was best to just upgrade to rack and pinion steering, and that's what we've done here on the new RideTech subframe. Rack and pinion steering provides amazing steering feedback and comes from the installation of a 79 to 93 Fox Body Mustang steering rack. Now these steering racks are sold separately. You can get them at O'Reilly's or get them through PSC or any of the other suppliers that you may find but they greatly transform the way you feel the car is communicating with you and the inputs that you're giving into the car when you're driving. RideTech has been building suspension systems for over 27 years, and we've put a lot of that knowledge and know-how into the development of our first ever subframe here. When it comes to the factory suspension geometry, we can improve upon that a little bit when you're using a factory subframe, but when we're building our own, we have much more control over where we have our suspension pickup points, the amount of geometry that we build into the subframe uh, static, uh, and much more that we can put into it as it cycles throughout its suspension travel too. So that's something to consider. And as the F-Body continues to be one of the most popular muscle cars on the market to modify today, you're gonna wanna focus on a subframe that meets with the right amount of performance that meets your goals. Now, if you've got a pin spindle configuration at home and you've already modified the brakes for that or you need to retain your stock brakes, you can do that. You just need to select the pin spindle configuration when you order your subframe from us. Or if you wanna to upgrade to a late model hub spindle design, that's actually better for some performance when it comes to less deflection and less potential for brake pad knockback on track. And it allows you to run a C5, C6, or C7 hub, which will allow you to upgrade to C5 or C6 brake packages and get that modern braking performance. Whether you wanna run air or coilover, we've got you covered when it comes to the RideTech First Gen F-Body subframe. Installed on this side, we have an HQ single adjustable air shock or shock wave, while on your side, we've got an HQ single adjustable coilover. Now, we also offer triple adjustable variants of each of these if you're a little bit more serious on the motorsport side of things, which will allow you to control high speed and low speed compression, as well as your rebound. Up top, we also have billet T6061 aluminum construction upper control arms. Down below, we've got tubular construction, lower control arms. Those are mated to that late model 
hub spindle or pin spindle, depending on what you go with. We also have the caliper brackets to adapt to those upgraded late model performance brakes. The large one and a half inch, 1300 pound bar rate sway bar in the front greatly improves body control and improves weight transfer in the front of the car. Let's talk power plants. When it comes to deciding what engine you wanna run, it doesn't matter because this subframe will adapt to any of the popular engine combinations that you would wanna run. Josh's car is sticking with a conventional small block, but we do have the engine mount plates that will adapt to uh, a big block or a GM LS or Gen 5 direct injection LT. And behind those engines, we also have a universal transmission cross member that will adapt to popular automatic and manual transmissions, whether you're rocking it old school or looking to bolt in a later model gearbox. Another thing to consider when you're building your own F-Body, Camaro or Firebird, is the aesthetic appeal. When it comes to putting an expensive LS engine and expensive transmission and building a vehicle out for the show or muscle car circuit, upgrading every conceivable part of the vehicle but neglecting one of the core components like the subframe is probably not the best idea. Um, being able to start with a, a wonderful foundation for suspension and performance that feels great and doesn't compromise ride quality, but yet can adapt to all the modern transmissions and engine applications, as well as the conventional old school small block Chevys and big blocks, um, is a huge, huge thing to upgrade to. And um, it's obvious when you get a look at one of these things up close that um, there's really no comparison between the factory aesthetic of the old mass-produced stamp steel units. Part of RideTech's ethos has always been quality over quantity, and that shows through with the development of our subframe project here as well. When it comes to the development of these subframes and all of our systems, we've developed that here in our in-house ISO certified facility here in Jasper, Indiana. These systems are built by Americans that have a passion for automotive performance, and we build some of the best air and coilover performance systems in the world. We're bringing a lot of that knowledge and know-how into the development of these subframes. And if you haven't joined the RideTech family just yet, you may not know about our approach when it comes to products. We want to ship everything to you in a way that we would like to receive it if it had been us clicking Add to Cart. What other things should you be concerned about when it comes to getting a subframe for your first gen Camaro? It's easy sometimes to get a little too focused on one specific area of a car when you're making improvements that we forget to think about how that may affect the other aspects of the vehicle. RideTech has a full catalog of components that are available for first gen F bodies from 1967 to 1969. We make a front coilover suspension and front air suspension. We make a rear four link that is accommodated with either air or uh, coilover as well. We also make subframe connectors which help stiffen up and connect the front and rear of the vehicle. Now when it comes to the factory stamped steel subframe that we're going to be taking out of this car behind us, there's really no comparison when it comes to the strength and rigidity of a new age modern technology subframe. Those old units were mass produced and thrown in as many vehicles on the factory floor as they could roll off in the dealer lots. We're actually taking our time making these. We're putting them through their paces. The strength and integrity, the rigidity of these uh, subframes is next to none when it comes to how well they're going to perform uh, in the performance arena. In fact, on Josh's subframe in particular, he showed us he's actually gone around and stitch welded and welded certain places on his factory subframe in order to make it more rigid from the start. And so it's gonna be nice to get that old thing out and this new subframe in and have a much, much better starting point for performance driving on track. Well, that about wraps things up. If you enjoyed today's video, please let us know by liking or commenting. And if you have a question we didn't answer, feel free to drop that in the comments below as well. And if you don't want to miss any future Ride Tech content, like our upcoming subframe installation video, make sure to hit the notification bell icon so YouTube will let you know when it drops. We'll catch you on the next one.